Committee of PAC Laundering as Transport Minister Ling Leong Sit was investigated over a leaked breach of trust linking Port Klang Free Zone PKFZ scandal. Former Transport Minister Tun Dr. Ling Leong Sik pleaded not guilty to two cheating charges related to the 12.5 billion ringgit PKFZ project. He was charged at the Putrajaya Sessions Court. Judge Susanna Hussein granted bail of 1 million ringgit with one surety. She fixed September 3rd for mention of the case. Dr. Ling is alleged to have deceived the Malaysian government between September 25th and November 6, 2002 into agreeing on the land purchase in Pulau Indah for the mega distribution hub project in Port Klang according to the terms agreed to between Kuala Dimensi Seneram Bahad and the Port Klang Authority. Dr. Ling was in the cabinet for 17 years and is also the former president of the Malaysian Chinese Association from 1986 to 2003. Late last year, former PKA General Manager Datin Paduka O. C. Pang and three others were charged with criminal breach of trust and cheating by making false claims. The Port Klang Free Trade Zone, a 1,000-acre commercial and industrial project, was initially projected to cost 1.82 billion ringgit. However, costs are now expected to balloon to 12.5 billion ringgit, making the affair one of the biggest financial scandals to hit the nation. Attorney General Tan Sri Abdul Ghani Patayal headed the prosecution team assisted by the head of prosecution division Dato Tun Majid Tun Hamza, Zulkifli Ahmad and Manoj Kumar while Dr. Ling was presented by counsel R.R. Setu. People that involved in PKFZ scandal The first one is Ling Leong Sik Ling Yong Sik is a Ministry of Transport. Second is Chan Kang Choi. Chan Kang Choi is a former transport minister. The third is Osipang, former Port Klang Authority, a PKA general manager. And the last is KDSB employees, Kuala Demisi Sengjian Merhai. Port Klang Free Zone, or also known as PKFZ, was begun in 1997 and have been suggested by Ministry of Transport, Ling Yong Si. The aim is to create a regional integrated cargo distribution and industrial park in Port Klang. PKFZ had some lofty ambitions, which is it was to be a one-stop center for companies to be in touch with relevant government agency. PKFZ also known as a hub to connect to over 120 countries and 500 ports due to near to KLIA. Two years after, in 1999, government was approved this project with estimated cost supposedly 1.9 billion ringgit Malaysia. Unfortunately, after seven years of operation, the cost rise to 4.6 billion ringgit Malaysia. How the scandal happened? The Port Klang Authority (PKA) is the government agency that is responsible to regulate and overseeing Port Klang's activity. KDSP was chosen to be main contractor to the PKFZ project right after government approved the project. In order to complete this project, KDSP need money to accommodate the project. KDSB tried to make a loan to bank but unfortunately bank reject the loan due to no guarantee. On behalf of the government, Ling Yong Sik signed off a letter that apparently guaranteed the loan to KDSB in the form of bond. Same goes to Chan Kong Choi. KDSB enjoyed the 3.8 billion ringgit Malaysia from the loan. KDSB charged a huge amount toward the project. PKA realized that they could not afford to pay back KDSB. From the letter that was signed by the Ling Leong Sik, bank gave an order to PKA to pay back to KDSB on time. Without any choice, 
government had to bail out the PKF debt by loan money they need to pay off the debt. The deal was the government would bail out and the PKA is to pay back the money to the government in the long run. However, PKA had never sold any of the money that was loaned from the bank to the KDSP. So you may be wondering why they suddenly got dragged into paying back the government. The scandal without anyone responsible. In 2010, PKFZ <laughs> <laughs> was purchased land at 25 Ringgit Malaysia per square foot rather than 10 Ringgit Malaysia per square foot. Ling Leong Sik was charged with cheating the government by approving the land purchase despite knowing it, it will lead to losses for the government. In 2011, the charge accused Chan of cheating Badawi into approving KDSP as the Turkey developer for the PKFZ construction as apparently he didn't make it clear then PM that it will involve taking some huge loan Alright, ladies and gentlemen do you know who involved in PKFZ scandal? Then I tell you now the first is Ling Leong Si He's not guilty as the court found reasonable doubt in his case Plus, it probably helped that a certain Dr. Mahade was a key witness siding with Lin. Second, Chan Kong Cho. He acquitted of all charge when prosecutors decided to drop the case. The third people involved is KDSB boys. The court decided that there was not even a strong enough case against them in the first place. This pretty much leaves no one found responsible for the case. There are Lo Jen Dong, Bernard Tan Sui Sang, and Stephen Abu. The last people involved in this case is Osi Pang. Osi Pang was found to be financially responsible for the losses. However, that was in a civil suit against the PKA who wanted to recoup the money lost during the PKFZ construction. The government, meanwhile, has not found anyone guilty in a criminal court because, as mentioned earlier, all of those charged were either found guilty or acquired. Former Port Klang Authority PKA General Manager Osi Pang and two others being brought into the Klang Session Court, charged with criminal breach of trust, CBT, and making false claims.